Well, Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease transmitted by blood-feeding ticks causing a rash accompanied by flu-like symptoms including fatigue, headache, body aches, fever, and chills. The Ticked Off Lyme Foundation helps bring awareness to Lyme disease. And joining me today is board president, Tina Rosecrans, and board member, Nicole Morgan. Welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you for having Thank us. you. So I know there's a lot of, I think, confusion about Lyme disease. So we want to kind of talk about that and talk about what prompted you to start this organization. So let's start with your background first. Okay, so um, I have a very good friend of mine mm -hmm. that she fought for nine years with different symptoms mm -hmm. coming up, like fibromyalgia, um, early onset Alzheimer's, uh, flu-like symptoms, all kinds of things. She went mm -hmm. nine years and they couldn't, they kept giving her different things. Sometimes it was just in her head. Um, and so then after nine years, she finally got diagnosed mm -hmm. with Lyme disease. Wow. And in the meantime, she had two little girls. And these two little girls got it through conception. So now I'm like, that's not right, right? Right. So we um, I did a couple yard sales for them mm -hmm. and raised the money and gave it to them to help with their medical bills. Yeah. And then last year, I um, hosted a 5K in Fairfax. Mm -hmm. And I did that through a group out of Virginia, uh -huh. a foundation. And all that money had to go to Virginia. And then we did, I did a polar splash last year, the same thing, went to Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then last year in October, so a year ago, I started a support group. Uh -huh. Because at the first 5K, I had a bunch of ladies come up to me that had Lyme disease and they're like, Tina, we finally feel like we're being seen. Wow. So I'm like, that's just as weird mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, it is. So. I started the support groups, which now we've done them mm -hmm. for a year. We do them the first Saturday of every month at Scooters on Edgewood Road. Okay. We've kind of outgrown that, but we're moving somewhere we don't know where yet. And then in December, um, a friend of mine, her and I talked, and I'm like, we need to do more. Let's do a foundation. Yeah. And then that's how it did. Mm -hmm. Foundation. Mm -hmm. foundation. Yeah. So then we did a 5K this year as okay. well. And Different businesses have done chips yeah. and whatever for us as okay. well. So. Wow. Yeah. Now, you just said the nine years that she had Lyme disease. So this is a really misunderstood and often misdiagnosed yeah. disease then. You think, yeah. Do you know why that is? Or? It's because Lyme disease, a lot of the symptoms can mimic other conditions. Okay. So it's often misdiagnosed. Like she said, her friend was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. In my own journey, mm -hmm. I have Lyme disease. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia this year. Really? Um, and you face a lot of Lyme patients going to their doctors, getting mm -hmm. back normal labs, getting told that, you know, we're fine, we're perfectly healthy, yeah. while inside, you know, you know your body and right. you know you feel horrible. And so, you know, it kind of puts you on this journey of trying to figure out what is it, you know, why are these symptoms, yeah. you know, here. Um, and it's just a really tricky disease mm -hmm. to understand, even for a lot of, you know, Western medicine doctors. It's just not widely understood. I know. And now you said there's more people coming to your support group, so clearly there's more people being diagnosed with it now. Is yeah. it more of an epidemic now than it was before? Would you call yeah, it an I epidemic think, now? Or I think we're finding that it's much more prevalent or com than, common. Yeah, yes. than, pe yeah. than people think. Um, and so um, we're finding that a lot of patients that come to our support group are mm -hmm opting for holistic treatments, mm -hmm. chiropractic doctors, stuff like that. It's We see it a lot more um, with care like that. Uh -huh. um, we're finding that, you know, the standard CDC testing, there's actually about a 50% false negative rate that you can get with that test. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And so a lot more people have it than yeah. you thought. I, For myself, I was the one who originally got diagnosed and come to find out my husband has it and my two daughters also have it. So, mm -hmm. and my dad also has it. Oh we just God. found out, so, you know, it's, it's, it's much it's really more common. common. Yeah, it's much more common than yeah, people than think. think. So okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really had no idea. I mean, I knew I've heard of people. Yeah. Who've had it before, right. but I didn't realize it was quite yeah. that common. So thank yeah. goodness that we're you're bringing awareness to this mm -hmm. that's with a, that's the Ticked Off found, yes. Foundation. Yeah. And tell everybody again, like the events that you have. You have one, a 5K coming up. That's in May. So. This year, we just did, I did a polar splash at mm -hmm. last weekend. Okay. In Fairfax, at mm -hmm. the big splash pad. Right. And so now the next big one will 
is probably the 5K, but I'm working on a disc golf tournament maybe. Oh, okay. Like March, yeah. April. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to happen. Yes. Hopefully, you know, in the next month or okay. so. But then it'll be the big one, it'll be the 5K sure. again. Okay. And people can get more information. You have a Facebook page. It's starting. It's we just starting. got it okay. started. We just got it started. It, if you get on www. Um, ticked off Lime Foundation, but it's FDN, not the whole word. Okay. Um, dot com. Then it says um, launching soon, and then okay. if you scroll, you can put your email in there, hit go, okay. and then you'll get updates on it. Get updates. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I we just got to that. So I want to thank you both be for huge. being here today yeah. and bringing awareness to this because thank I know you. it's clearly a lot more common than yeah. what we realize. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you.